With COVID cases at the forefront, Centera hospitals in Hampton Roads are making policies that affect the number of visitors allowed to be with a mother in labor. It depends on the hospital. Some are allowing two, but right now at Princess Anne Hospital, it's limited to one. They say it's based on COVID metrics. When it comes to doulas who provide emotional and physical support for the mother, Centera Princess Anne Hospital is including them in that number of visitors. I have a client who had her baby Tuesday night um, and they told her it was one person allowed. It could be your doula or it could be your significant other. The mother she's speaking of chose her, the doula, who wants to be recognized as an essential part of the birthing team. And I think for her, she recognized that while she, of course, she wants her husband there to welcome their baby into the world, um, she really was, she knew that he didn't really know what to do when she was in labor. The president of Centera Princess Anne Hospital, who is also a new mom, says they made a limit of one across the board. For equity reasons, we made the decision to not differentiate and say, if you are able to select a doula, you have to support people. But other Centera hospitals are allowing two visitors. Here at Centera Princess Anne, interestingly enough, we actually don't have as high of a rate of utilization of doulas at some of the other hospitals. So they may have taken that population into consideration in a different way. And though they could be there virtually, it's certainly not the same. No mom in the middle of labor wants to FaceTime anyone. Although based on COVID metrics, the situation could soon change. We want our doulas and their family members to be a part of that. And as soon as it's safe for us to do so, which again is hopefully next week, uh, we want that back. In Virginia Beach, Angela Bohan, News 3.